Hey guys, I told y'all I was going to be back. I'm back with my spring tour for 2021. I'm doing it a little bit different this year in previous years. As a matter of fact, y'all, I haven't done a spring home tour in forever. Yeah, forever. So what I'm doing this year is trying to get on board with algorithms of YouTube. Now, before I would just put up a spring home tour and it would be a 30, sometimes 40 minute long video and you get to see top to bottom my house, how I decorate it for spring. This year, I'm doing it a little bit different. I'm going to individually um, showcase a specific area in my house. Today, we're starting with my tablescape for my dining room. That's where I am. One of the first things we bought when we moved in this house was a formal um, dining room set. Uh, I love setting a formal table, always have. This goes way, way back. And it brought back memories because my grandmother is here visiting with us. And she is the main reason probably why I decorate the way I do. My grandmother was in the food industry. She used to have her own catering business. She ran her own cafeteria and she wouldn't allow me to cook, but y'all, I know how to set a table and I know how to wash some dishes. So uh, that part was always just instilled in me since I was a little bitty girl. And then I just think from my mom's standpoint, I take that creative side. My mom was very, very creative. She's no longer with us. But Easter springtime was a time of year where we would, you know, she would polish us up like a sparkling new penny and get us ready for Easter Sunday. Hair dons, new shoes, baskets, bunnies, everything new. Spring anew. So I think they poured into me all of that stuff and that's what I, you know, am today. Unapologetically am today. How many of y'all remember last year, right before, um, right before there was COVID and all of that, when the stores closed down here in New Jersey, it was right around springtime. So it, the stores were jam packed with spring stuff. But when they reopened the stores, all of that merchandise went deep, deep, deep clearance and some of it went straight to the trash. Now y'all know, or maybe you don't know, the Frugal Nista loves finding for free and I found the mother load of spring decor. Including in that decor was these beautiful aprons, okay? I have a little peach apron. I have these two cute little uh, black and white, the little gingham apron with the cute little gingham bunny on it. So cute, right? And I thought to myself, what's been coming up in my timeline are all of these videos with, uh, I don't even know what the genre is in YouTube. It's like they're taking it back to the 1950s and it's taking care of a home. It reminds me of home economics that I took back, you know, way, way back in the day. And it seriously reminds me of June Cleaver. But all of these videos are coming up in my feed of all of these women wearing these cute little aprons. So I thought today I'm going to wear me a cute little apron also. I took it out and ironed it. Took the tags off of it also, y'all. Uh, you know that stores throw away stuff with tags. So yeah, that particular apron is a little Isaac Mizrahi number. 19 bucks thrown in the trash. And I'm going to wear this one. Look at this. So cute. So it has some cute little tassels that you tie at the top. Look at the little cute bunny tail, okay? So today when I'm doing my table skate, we're gonna make this fun. I am going to wear my cute little apron, okay? Look at those little bunny ears, so cute. And then I'm gonna tie it here. This apron is so cute, y'all. So we're just gonna have some fun today. All right, guys, let's get started with today's video, Countdown to Spring. All right, let's get started. And here's my tablescape for 2021. I told y'all I'm doing a little bit different, so we're just gonna concentrate on the tablescape. Let me show you everything. It's a lot of eye candy here, guys, so I'm gonna go really, really slow. I'll start with the actual tablecloth that I found for free from Home Goods. Y'all, my grandmother was over here yesterday. She was so sweet. And I told y'all, anything I learned proper, I learned from her. She really liked the tablescape. But the first thing she said was, Sister, now you need to hit this tablecloth with iron. She found this one wrinkle, okay? So y'all don't pay attention to that one wrinkle, all right? <laughs> y'all, it's a beautiful uh, gingham blue table um, cloth that I found for free with these gorgeous little bunnies on it. So cute, right? The centerpiece 
As you can see, I'm using all of these beautiful Ray Dunn pieces. And what I wanted to do was make it look like my little bunnies in the back. I have them on a cake stand, a little silver cake stand. I wanted to make it seem like my little bunnies were cooking um, sugar cookies or baking some sugar cookies. And I used these three little bowls. They came in a set of three from Home Goods. So cute. The little pink one has hop to it. Look at that little yellow one that has crack me up. And then there's a blue one over here that has peep peep on it. So I use all of these bowls down the center of this riser. And I thought to myself, I had some pretty uh, utensils and spring colors, like this little rolling pin, that little spoon. And I just made it look like they were baking some cookies. I use a little pot hole as part of my uh, centerpiece. Cute little gingham blue that matches the tablecloth. Cute little bunny on that. So I kind of used what I had. I really did. And even if I didn't have these beautiful radon pieces, if you wanted to just use bowls and utensils as a um, centerpiece, you know, there are no rules to this. There are definitely no rules with color schemes and textures. I just know I like to have my eye jumping from thing to thing. I just love that. Uh, I don't like a busy, busy look. I think, you know, I kind of controlled it by using uh, the blues as almost like a primary color, but pairing it with that pretty robin's egg blue, the pink, and then that bright mustard, and then doing the same thing with these little eggs that I found from Michael's a few years ago. I have those uh, eggs nestled there, and I just think that looks pretty with my little bunnies, brother and sister. He has a little Easter sign. She's holding some cute little flowers and they are baking sugar cookies. Speaking of sugar cookies, I saw these cute little um, cookie cutters with a spring motif. I'm using those, little yellow egg. Look at those little bunnies. Adorable, right? I like elevating looks in a tablescape uh, so everything isn't flat across. So I used a riser here, and then on the riser, using that little pitcher to elevate this pink bowl, okay? In addition to the bowls that are Ray done, I have this little casserole dish that has hip hop and a beautiful pale pink. Now, a lot of you guys have this little honey bunny. He's a cookie jar, so when they finish the cookies, they can, um, you know, put their cookies in the cookie jar. And the last little Ray Dunn item are these cute little egg holders that spell out peep. And then to finish out the centerpiece on both sides of the riser, I had these little sacks. They look like little flower sacks to me. They have a cute little bunny on it. In actuality, guys, they hold cookie cutters. So I have that there. I have these little speckled eggs that I probably picked up from Big Lots, maybe. Those are so cute. That little egg holder in blue. And then on this side, I mimic the same thing over here with the exception of using a pink little egg holder. More of those pretty speckled eggs and another one of the little uh, mock flower sacks. And as we come over here, I wanna show you each individual place setting. I have four place settings that look alike. So my four middle place settings are alike and the ones are different on the end. Let's start with this one first. Y'all, I did a pink charger. I thought that looked really pretty next to that tablecloth. Uh, the chargers came from Michaels. The actual plates came from Dollar Tree. I've had these in my collection forever. I thought this blue napkin looked beautiful with the table uh, cloth. That is so pretty to me. Um, picking up on that little one little silver bunny. And then this little gray coat. That is adorable, y'all. I use these guys are actually ties for gift packages. And going with my little baking theme, y'all, these little cupcake holders were so cute. They have hippity hoppity on them. I thought that was so cute. So I sat my little name card holder in it with little cute eggs. And closer as it gets to my Easter dinner, I'll prepare little name tags and put those in there. And to finish out the look of the place setting, I know some of you guys recognize these. They came from Dollar Tree. That pretty, pretty blue. 
it matches everything so nice. Dollar Tree really does have some nice glasses. So I have a little water glass and I'm using a little wine glass. Now at the heads of the table, we'll start over here, this head. The only thing different, I used a gray napkin and here I have this little paper napkin. I just thought it looked so cute. It has that gingham blue with the little bunny rabbit and everything else is the same as the other settings. And there's plenty of room, guys. A lot of times when we do tablescapes like this, I've had a few of you comments saying, okay, where are you gonna put the food to eat? There is plenty of space for food. I use these for actual butter dishes. Uh, I think that's gonna be so cute to have butter on both sides of the table. So that cute little bunny dish is going to hold butter and this little butterfly dish it will hold butter also this little thing has bunny treats on it it opens up you could put candies in that you know until the special day or the special dinner but right now I just have that sitting right there and nine times out of ten I'll use that for actual uh my Sunday dinner and what I like about my tablescapes guys I have plenty of room for actual food okay I would have the ambrosia here. I could possibly move the ambrosia over to my side table. Casserole dishes can sit there. Here, I like my back of my centerpiece to look as nice as the front. I know that's weird, but I do. And I think that looks pretty using that beautiful silver cake stand, having my little bunny sit on that, those pretty uh, little speckled eggs. And then these little packages will be for Magnolia and Mirabella for Easter morning. I'll put their little um, treats from the Easter Bunny in it. That beautiful gold bunny is so cute. Look at the little cute cotton tail. Yeah, so that'll be cute there. I just put that there for now. But again, it just makes that look so pretty to me. It finishes the area off. So cute. Over here, I'm going to do some deviled eggs, of course. It's so cute, y'all. And that is it, guys. That is my spring tablescape for 2021. I can't think of a better way than ushering in spring than with a beautiful tablescape, guys. I can't think of a better way to usher in my return to YouTube than doing um, all of this spring decor. Y'all stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this series, and I cannot wait to share them with you. Jazz hands.